And here we go, folks. We're starting the race, and the green flag is Start ways. Starting with our leader coming around the turn, and a number one qualifier, Langford, ZMT, Trump Train, Moto Lions, Blood Moon, Scrambled Eggs, Austin 85, CC, Brian, Full Meadow Geo, and those who did not make the field today <coughs> include number one dad, as well as others, 315. Not a good start. We're off to a good start here. We're immediately going single file. It seems like their track is cold. Uh, when the track is cold, it's 32 degrees outside. It takes a bit for it to come in, but it looks like it will be coming in here quickly, especially for the leaders. <clears throat> Langford taking us around the track and leading us uh, around. We're into turn three and four. When Langford drives, you can tell that uh, he's a very technical driver. The cold track doesn't seem to affect him. He very rarely loses control of the car in any circumstances. But he's running a nice, beautiful line right now. We're ZMT following behind him, followed by Trump Train, and all three of these drivers, super technical. We got the low angle brought to you here by <coughs> Amy Kelly Realty. And I gotta tell you, that camera angle is uh, one that's gonna be well liked. We're gonna see if we can get the placement of that angle uh, a little bit better for next race. Normally that camera would be, this camera here would be attached to the helmet or the cart of number one dad, but as we had said, he's not in the race today. Coming through the U-turns, you can see we're starting to spread it out. The leader just passed, followed by ZMT. Just a quick correction, ZMT was the number one qualifier today. Started in second position, we had a two-man invert today. <clears throat> the way that happens at PBIK Raceway in, during league nights is the number one qualifier will draw a chip from a hat. Uh, once, depending on the number on the chip, will be the number of cars that we will be inverting in the A main. ZMT only draw a two, which puts him in second place. However, you can, as you can see, his hands are full trying to catch our leader, Austin Langford. Beautiful control through the S-turns for these first three, four drivers. There's Blood Moon in fifth. Moto Lions coming around, making a nice turn in one and two. Blood Moon following into the U-shaped turn. Coming out of the horseshoe, going into the S-turns. You can see that Moto Lions is taking the S-turns very nicely, followed by Blood Moon. Blood Moon doesn't seem to be making up any grounds at this point, but we'll see what happens later on this race. A super technical driver, uh, leaves very little on the track. Um, does a wonderful job getting through these turns, and Moto Lions will have his hands full before long. <coughs> There's the rest of the pack coming through the S turns. Going through turn one and two, Moto Lions, Blood Moon, Scrambled Eggs, Austin 85, making their way through the horseshoe. <clears throat> it's becoming extremely spread out right now, but what we're going to do is we're going to stick with the leader here for a little bit. There's Langford, ZMT, Blood Moon. One, two, three, through the horseshoes. Langford's got about a 10 and eight. Uh, about a five car advantage over ZMT, and ZMT a two car advantage over Trump Train. Coming deep into turn one, making it stick. And making a nice clean turn. Scrambled Eggs, no stranger. Scrambled Eggs is in the white helmet today. No stranger to turning a fast lap, so he will be sticking with the, uh, the uh, top five, six. Wouldn't be surprised to see him top five here a little later on in this race. Back in the pack, we got Austin 85. He's wearing an orange and black helmet today, and Steve C with his customized paint job helmet. It was white with a glittery red stripe down the middle, and that is a sharp looking paint job. See if we can't get a good look at that helmet here in a little bit. There's Brennan Horn coming around last. 
and here's the leader. Brennan clearing out, and for the leader, leader coming on through, ZMT. On most Wednesday nights when we're running the A-League main, you'll find that it's a lot closer, a lot tighter um, <clears throat> pack. But tonight, we're, we're stringing it out a little bit. People are doing every effort that they can just to get around this track. It is icy cold. It should start to come in here in a little bit since we're putting a little bit of warmth into the, into the pavement. By getting these tires warmed up, it'll also help. Running the tires at about 25, 25 and a half PSI. Uh, builds a little pressure in those tires, makes it a little easier to turn. And then the track, the track of course, gets grippier the more it warmer it gets. Once it does start to get warmer, you'll find that these cars start closing in on each other. And boy, even though we're running single hand, single file right now, I can tell you one thing, folks. Two people start dicing up in front of a hungry third racer. It, 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 those gaps can close at any time. There you go. You see scrambled eggs. You see Austin. There's that beautiful helmet we've been talking about from Steve C. Ooh, we got an accident in turn one. It looks like Geo spun himself around. Uh, you know, you lose focus for a second here, people. You never know what can, what can happen. I'm not sure exactly what happened to Geo here, but he's getting backed out of the wall. He's pretty perpendicular to the wall. Can't get going there. Good luck, Geo. Get going. You're going to start at the back of the pack, but I know you always like to uh, run again. Here we go. We got our starting lineup for the restart. As you can see, they're all ready to go. Geo, a nice little wave not to be missed. Coming in, serpentining through the horseshoe turn into the S turn. <coughs> Making their way into the S turns. There's a lot of bumping up back behind, but I got everybody staying, keeping the cards straight. Zip it on through. <coughs> a man that likes to take advantage of these restarts and usually is excellent at pushing through the horseshoe turn is Brian back in the pack currently running ninth. <coughs> we got our leader Langford followed by ZMT followed by Blood Moon. After Blood Moon you got Moto Lions. Looks like uh, Moto Lions is being followed by Blood Moon, Blood Moon, followed by Scrambled Eggs, Scrambled Eggs, Austin, followed by Austin right here in the orange and black helmet. Steve C, Brian, ooh, Steve C is going to have his hands full. He's got Brian on his tail, and he smells blood. Running in last is one of our most technical drivers. The cart must not be right for him at this point. Is Geo. Geo is typically, uh, oh, sorry, he's second to last now. Uh, typically, Geo is one of our more technical drivers on the track. He loves to make his way through the S turns without even a scoop of the wheel. That's exactly what he's doing. He's been racing here for quite a, uh, quite a while. Uh, cart must not be agreeing with him. Keep in mind, folks, that these carts, they sit idle most of the day until the league shows up on Wednesdays. It's not exactly a super day at the track. So if you want to get in and you want to get some good racing in, show up before the league on Wednesday evenings. Uh, anytime between the time you get off of work, maybe 1, 2 in the afternoon, all the way up until when the league starts at 6 o'clock on a Wednesday. Um, there's a lot of room to get in a lot of good races here at PBIK. So bring your friends, bring your family. There's our leader, Austin Langford. Once again, same order, coming through. Austin's got very good control of his cart right now. He's making beautiful turns through the S turns, through the horseshoes sticking all the way, which has given Steve C a run for his money, and Steve seems to be having a little bit of a hard time keeping up. Steve is in a nice, good, fast cart right now, but when Austin's running such a good line, it is tough to follow.
We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Brian riding back in ninth, and he's very comfortable there. As Gio is around 10 car lengths behind him, behind him is Brennan Horn at about 10 cars behind him. Coming back into turn one and two, we're turning pretty good lap times, folks. I gotta tell you, if the cold, track is cold as it is, you can tell it's starting to warm up. We're now running lap times in the low 19s. That last lap was a 19.3, 19.4. And that's back in the pack, folks. If we get another caution, you can expect a completely different race from that point forward. These two drivers here behind the leader, you have ZMT and <coughs> Trump Train. They're going neck and neck right now through the horseshoe turns. Now, here we go, through the S turns. A little bump. And ZMT comes out clear. Here we go through turns one and two. You can see the Trump trains tracking ZMT very closely right now. Let's see if we can get something up front close footage on that. Down into the S turns. Here we go coming out of the S turns. These two are racing all their tails off. We got Trump train. Can't quite seem to make it to ZMT's bumper. ZMT is running a perfect line through turns one and two, and he's carrying that speed through the horseshoe perfectly. Here we go, get a closer look. ZMT running a perfect line once again into the front stretch. The camera work here is phenomenal today. Here we go, this race continues on. Oh, Tim Train gets into the back room a little bit, but he's still running a perfect line. Can't quite get to the bumper of ZMT. That race continues on in turn one and two. These two are flying around the track, carrying a great amount of speed through the horseshoe turns into the S turns at a 19.2 second pace. These two are flying. Another race that seems to be shaping up is between right here between Moto Lions in the yellow green helmet and Blood Moon who's right on his tail through the horseshoe. These two have found each other and now it is going to be a battle. Blood Moon with great control tries to sneak to the inside of Moto Lions. Moto Lions pinches him off. Here we go coming <clears throat> back into turn one. Here's another race for me. We have Steve C and Brian racing into the front stretch. A lot more races, a lot more two, uh, two racer races all the way throughout the path. There's Blood Moon. Here we go. Moto Lions and Blood Moon right there. Look at this. We have a, two, a race for two and three. We have a race for three and four. Sometimes, folks, when you're watching racing, you have to look back through the pack to see where the real races are. You can't always be looking at the leader. You can be rest assured, Langford's got a clean line. He's going to take advantage of it. And, uh, it's going to be very tough to catch him at this point, especially with these guys racing behind. <clears throat> ZMT slides through the S turns a little bit. You think it's going to give him a little bit of room. Here's Moto Lions with being chased down by Blood Moon. Guys, he's can't. Oh, here we go into turn one and two. Blood Moon makes a great move on him to close the gap. And here we go through the S turns, yellow helmet, gray helmet right here. The gap seems to, uh, to stay very consistent all the way through. <coughs> Moto's running on really nice lines, making it tough, tough, tough for Blood Moon to catch up. Here's the leader. ZMT, once again, spaced it out, has three lengths over front train. Real race right now is for third and fourth. And it looks like Moto is keeping his distance from the follower of Blood Moon. Here's Steve C running a pretty clean race right out in the middle of uh, nowhere. He's got nothing but clean track and run some real fast laps. Maybe get up to the traffic ahead of him. <coughs> Scrambled eggs running clean. 
Austin running clean. Trump trains got back up to the bumper of ZMT coming through the ES turns right now. ZMT pulls the perfect line. It's going to be very hard to catch. <clears throat> Brian and Gio found their own race at the back of the pack, and this is fun to watch. Well, I'll tell you right now, coming through the S turn. Oh, Gio tries to get alongside. Brian pinches him off and stays in the lead. Funny, you got all these racers running great times, and you got these two at the back of the pack, just ahead of the leader, and they're running their own great race. I mean, that's what this is all about, folks, is finding your, your perfect, uh, you know, race partner and these two have been around a long time and look at the smiles on their face running at the back of the pack having their own perfect race look at this coming through Gio's looking to the outside but no he's gonna go ahead and continue to follow him behind you know what folks stay stay tuned for the end of this video and we're gonna have some bonus footage of that race between Brian and Gio here they continue to race, and yes, that is the leader directly behind them. We got that. Coming up on the checkered flag. And here shortly. Stay tuned at the end of the race. We'll have some bonus footage um, focusing in on that race amongst friends Brian and Gio. And that's it folks uh, that's your end of running order you have the ending order is langford zmt trump train moto lions blood moon scrambled eggs austin 85 steve c brian and geo coming up in the rear you will be able to watch this bonus footage take a look at how these two friends are racing each other super clean super fun and i guarantee they both have smiles on their face Thanks for watching. If you like the content, feel free to like and subscribe. And uh, every Wednesday, we'll try and put out a video here uh, with regards to the PDIK main event.